just arrived at Mango Square and this is a, a happening kind of place it's really early right now I think it's about 8 o'clock so it's not that busy it doesn't start really happening until around 10 but what this is is this little like area of discos so I don't know if you could see it but there's a there's a few different discos here and it's an interesting kind of area because although there's a lot of happening stuff there's also a lot of sleaze so there's also a lot of working girls, lady boys, whatever you call it uh, here, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. If that's your thing, then you come here. But you could also come here and not deal with that and still have a good time. You might get harassed a little bit. So maybe I'll show you a little bit more when we start going into some of these discos. It's still early, so we're just getting a couple San Miguel's. That's how we're rolling right now. There'll be more. All right, Lynn and I had a quick drink and uh, watched some live music. Now we're going to a disco. It's uh, it's kind of in this weird location. It's down this weird garage right here, but uh, it's called H2O. We're gonna check it out and uh, see what it's like right now. It's still pretty early. It's like 10 p.m. So see if anyone's in there. So we went in there and there was not a single soul in there. I think it's just too early, so we're gonna check out uh, some other spots. This disco is upstairs. It's in the same little area, Mango Square, but it's upstairs. I think it's called Passion or something. We'll see if anyone's in this one too. This is the one that would not let me in because I was wearing sandals before. That's the first time that's happened to me. Now, they shouldn't have let me in. They did the right thing, but usually they just let me in because I'm a Kano. Uh, but they won't let a Filipino in with sandals. But in this case, they stuck to the rules, which is a good thing. a couple spots the last one was dead also but it is starting to get crowded now you'll notice there's some people around anyways uh, we'll probably go to another one I don't know which one you can kind of just bounce around that's what's cool you just go there's like at least six seven different discos and so you kind of just bounce around have a good time so we'll see where the night takes us so here we are, we're still at Mango Square, sitting here, drinking some booze, and it's starting to get more crowded. We have a, a friend that joined us, my good friend, Mr. Adam. Say hello to the viewers. So anyways, we're, um, we're gonna go into one of these discos. I don't know which one, but it should be a good time.
bit more crowded now. We wanted to show you guys what it looks like a little bit more. You know, you, you never know, but uh, you do have to be careful or unless that's what you're looking for then don't be careful But anyways, we're on mango Ave right now. Here's Lynn. Here's the the homie Adam We're just walk around one thing. I want to do is I want to see if I could um, get an interview with a lady boy Let's uh, let's see if we could do that. If not, I'm gonna sign out, but let's see right now. Hold on Hello, I'm here with what's your name? Yeah, I'm not my picture. Yeah, what, how do I pronounce that? Alma Conception. Alma Conception. Yeah. You know, this is your boy Seth with Seth Style. We're here on Mango Avenue. I just want to know, why do you like Mango Avenue so yeah, much? I love crack so much. <laughs> That's the main reason. Yeah, is, is, the, is there any other reason that I should come to Mango yeah. Avenue besides cock? Yes, absolutely. I love cock. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you very, thank you very much. I'm glad. Okay. Very nice to meet you. We'll I see you so soon. This is Seth, and remember, it's not just any style; it says style. <laughs> Thank you. 